I started uh, training in uh, Germany. I was born in uh, Stuttgart, Germany, South Germany. And I'm living now since uh, five years here in Southern California. And uh, I moved uh, about uh, uh, five years exactly ago, this month, five years ago. I think California is a very good place to train, but uh, people should always keep in mind that uh, California doesn't create a champion. You have to be a champion before, you have to have the potential before. And it's not just by moving that you become a great bodybuilder. You have to be before a great bodybuilder. And if you're a good bodybuilder, California will make out of you a better bodybuilder. And uh, so far I've been uh, training, I think, 16, 17 years. And you need uh, for sure at least 10 years to create uh, a real uh, good world-class physique. So 10 years are a must in bodybuilding. And uh, if you don't train at least 10 years, I think you can't really compete on the highest level, like the Mr. O uh, contest where the best of the best are competing on a yearly basis. It's very important to stretch. I think stretching gives you more uh, definition, more detail. You recuperate easier and you stimulate your muscle growth better and uh, you don't uh, become stiff. Sometimes I stretch more, sometimes less. However, I feel... Um, my diet is actually very, very simple. It's uh, not uh, kind of uh, scientific, so it's not complicated or easy to understand. You have only to, uh, to have the discipline to follow. So uh, I would say uh, on a daily basis, when I'm on a diet, on a daily basis I'm between 400 and uh, 600 grams of protein. And with the carbs, I always go in, uh, up and down. So uh, for example, Monday I'm at 200 grams of carbs, Tuesday 150, then uh, Wednesday 100, then Thursday <clears throat> I go up with the carbs or um, I stay low again with the carbs, about 100 grams, and then I go up again the very next day. So it's always up and down uh, to confuse uh, the system, to confuse the body, not to get used to a low amount of carb or carbs or a high amount of carbs. Because if you get used uh, <clears throat> to a specific routine, you get a kind of stagnation phase. And uh, to overcome that, I have uh, to play with the carbs. Fats, uh, pretty low. Sometimes, <clears throat> if I feel really bumped out, really tired, I have a day where I go really up with the carbs, up to three, four, five hundred, and then I'm really very vascular, and it helps me also uh, to uh, continue with the diet because if you stay too low with the carbs, you feel just too weak to do your daily routine and to do the cardio. It's not a very heavy weight, it's actually pretty light, but I've done two exercises before to pre-exhaust my, my tries, you know. You don't need big weights, dude. You're already big. <laughs> you need big weights to get big, you know? Okay. Plus, all for you. <laughs> Believe me, always. If I don't train uh, in off-season with uh, heavy weights, weight, believe me, I lose size. You have to. You know, if you... Uh, lift, for example, a glass of water 10 times, you don't get muscles. Mm -hmm. But if the glass of water is as heavy as a gallon of water, then you feel the difference. Then you get uh, become stronger, get bigger, believe me. But also you have to watch out for get in any injury. For the, <laughs> yes, the that's absolutely true. Coming up. You have to train uh, very carefully. You have to be cautious. Otherwise, you can tear yourself up or mess yourself up. On the other side, I don't know anyone who got big by by just training with machines, mm -hmm. training with light weights, you know. Heavy somebody, weights, if somebody, is, if somebody is big uh, and trains with machines, you can actually see that he trained earlier, previous years, heavy, you know. Because otherwise, you would get the size. Mm -hmm. Can't uh, get just big by using, you know, a little weight. If yeah. that would be the case, believe me, I would train as light <laughs> as possible. Perfect, perfect. Two, three, 
Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, help. Two more. One more. Okay, enough. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. One. Three. I don't know a little bit. Biceps. And forearms. I always switch, change, alternate. Okay. For example, my first exercise will be uh, alternated bicep curls, but I don't like to alternate it. I uh, like uh, mostly do it one arm by each because they can concentrate better, you know. And then uh, sometimes you see it standing, sometimes leaning against the incline bench. Always change. Huh? I've never the same routine, never ever. Always. Always different row of exercises. Normally I could have finished tricep with uh, tricep kickbacks, but I didn't want. Because they have always different routines, you know. And then uh, some people ask me always, what do you train on Mondays? What do you train on Tuesdays? Tuesdays I train sometimes chest and shoulders. Next Tuesday I train maybe hamstrings, chest and calves. The next Monday maybe just the back itself or back and calves. Always changes, you know, always. It's a confusion system. See here my veins? See them here? <coughs> if I would have more carbs now, the veins would be way thicker. So the less carbs you have, the smaller the veins are. If I eat more during the daytime or until tonight, my veins will get fuller and fuller, thicker and thicker. But you have to train on low carbs to get in shape. And my priority is now not to get bigger, but to get in shape. So training on low carbs and having lots of protein, not to, to lose too much muscle size. I don't even uh, <coughs> check how much weight here is on. It's a complicated count because there are three, four, five, six small plates. Some bigger, some weights more. So just go ahead not to lose too much time. and then I continue really five to ten seconds. Uh, again, five to six seconds. Five to ten. good machine. I alternate this machine with uh, uh, a squat bench where I'm using the free EZ bar. Always switch back and forth. Okay, a little more weight. Ooh. already the pain, the muscle pain, not uh, any kind of ligament or 
Bane pain. It's bone pain. It's very important to realize what hurts you. Every muscle hurts differently. If you train calves, it hurts differently. If you train arms, bicep, tricep, whatever. If you train your back, every pain is different. If just to learn to endure the pain. If you don't learn to endure the pain, you can't grow, you can't improve, and you can't get in shape. This is actually for me the worst time of the year to be on a diet. Not only because I'm most of the time hungry, but because I eat most of the time the same food. And to eat a couple of times a day, chicken six times, or six times chicken, turkey, or you can uh, also eat fish. It's not really fun. You don't uh, like to eat no more, even if you're hungry. But I think in general, a diet breaks you or a diet makes you. In off season, you can't train because you have a full stomach and you feel comfortable. But pre contest time, it shows if you can become a champion or if you're a champion or not. See, there's still a water hole in here. See here? But like I said before, that's one for this kind of face for weeks out. If I wouldn't be holding water now, something would be true. Something would be wrong, this would mean I'm uh, too good in shape. If we're too early or too good in shape, uh, way out of the show, I can't peak and I like to peak. I like to be at the show, the, uh, the day of the show, in best condition. It's not that I'm looking for excuses, it's just to explain how you are holding water. You have a high sodium intake. Concentration curves, that's a final bicep exercise. It's, uh, it's a very good, uh, it's a very good uh, movement because it gives you the shape and uh, not to use too much weight. Nevertheless, you can finish your exercise however you want, whatever exercise you prefer. So far, we did today two exercises of calves. Uh, four exercises of triceps. This is the third exercise of uh, bicep. I guess I will end at <coughs> a fourth exercise of bicep. Isolation exercise. So last set here. I like this exercise because this exercise gives you bicep peak. You really isolate each arm. Even if I have no energy no more, I do half reps, quarter reps. Most of the time, I prefer to train by myself. For sure, training spawner would be productive now to help me, to spot me. But on the other side, I don't like to rely mentally on someone who maybe doesn't show up on time, someone maybe who doesn't have the same goals as I have, or uh, just on someone uh, who is not uh, willing to help me really in the workouts. So I try to stick by myself. Besides that, I hate when people come too late. I would describe myself as, as uh, self-motivated. You have to, because bodybuilding is a lonely sport. You are on yourself most of the time, especially when you're in the gym. You have to decide how much you train. You have to decide how much pain you inflict on yourself. You have to decide how much you eat how much you drink and how far you like to go with your body and how much uh, 
you're willing to sacrifice. warm but still have a cold anyway. Um, I have here a reader product, I think it's an ABV product. It's, uh, it uh, contains or it has 40 grams of whey protein and um, one gram of carbs. That's quite good to have it as a post workout drink. I need no uh, protein. And I'm not that hungry right now, but thirsty, so it's quite good to get this protein in. And it tastes even. Fruit punch. You won't believe what I have to eat. Guess what? No chicken, no rice, no potatoes. What is that? Papaya. I like papaya. Everyone has his little specific food or secret. That's my little secret, eating papaya. Later on, I'll have my chicken or my turkey. Like I mentioned before, maybe I go to the sushi place. The workout today was not that hard. It was actually, uh, I would say, moderate. Yesterday, when, we, uh, when I trained chest and shoulders, I felt exhausted. Felt very weak. But uh, on the other side, you have days where if you're stronger or weaker, that's quite normal. So I don't uh, put too much uh, thoughts into it. And at least uh, I had a great pump. And uh, I completed all the sets and reps which I wanted to complete. Oh, Mitz, I told you not to, not to shoot you, but okay. At least it's all on. Rip to the bones? 
Leg tripped, chest tripped, abs tripped, tension. Oh. And tell me and you, huh? Funny when it up here, huh? I'll get still uh, six orders of salmon, six orders of eel. And if I'm you know, hungry, then I'll order more. It sounds much what I'm eating right now, but um, after all these weeks of dieting, um, my metabolism is so way up, I can digest this easily. I don't think that I would eat in off-season so many pieces of sushi, but uh, right now I can. And I think it's uh, this Japanese kind of food is very, very healthy, and um, I really enjoy it. Rainbow roll. See, oh, looks great and tastes great. Don't forget to order it. And as I mentioned before, fish oil is very, very important for the diet. Very important. 